as I said in my Niwa 660 slash turn this gym into a studio video, I was so happy with that little Sunway photo clamp that I bought that I wanted to check out more from the company and took delivery of this Sunway photo TC 2840 CE tripod and another ball head just for the crack. I think this is gonna become my number one tripod for out and about stuff, not for travel, but for more static out and about work. Yeah, I think we need to check it out and find out why I'm so excited about it. I mean, it is just a tripod, but it is a serious bit of kit and we need to talk about why. Need, want, want to talk about why. Yeah, let's get on with it. We've got this nice little pocket here. Again, never a fan of logos on bags, but whatever. And in this pocket, we've got the gubbins, the instructions. We've got the spikes for the bottom. We've got a few tools there, a little adapter, a lens cloth for some reason. And yeah, it's a nice little handy bag. Now I'm not planning to take this one out and about particularly, but if I need to go on some sort of job that requires this more heavy duty one, I will. So the bag is very good. It clearly doesn't fit in the frame, but that's okay. I could have lowered this, but it's already lowered enough. So that's the bag. The tripod itself. And I'm not gonna go wider on this particular image because we want to look at the details a bit more close up. There's the EB44 ball head. It's definitely, definitely a hardcore bit of kit. Now, let's see. This can come off. A few little logos there. We've got twist locks on the feet, which will take a bit of easing in. At the bottom you'll see the hook for weighing it down. You can unscrew that. Let's see what's in there. Nothing, but just in case you want to screw something else into there, that's fine. The tripod weighs 1.4 kilos, but has a load capacity of 16 kilos. Now you'll notice here, pretty standard stuff, but we've got a stuff, which I'll work out how to do in a minute, normally it's a pull out, there you go. Everything on this one is a little bit stiff as it's straight out of the box, but yeah. So we've got three stops, 23 degrees, 55 and 85, the height with the legs fully extended, 163 centimeters or 10 centimeters at the lowest point. We've got some mounting screws, some quarter screws there. Now with the ball head itself, we can just screw that off for the moment. At some point that'll pop off. And this piece in the middle also can screw off and you've got the quarter there. So you've got quarter and three eighths in case you need to switch around. Now. I kind of like this, it's going to take some getting used to, but that's a very interesting little device, very easy to grab onto. Now this ball head, I can get it back on to show you, but Arca Swiss, because that's what I'm dealing with pretty much all the time now. We do have some decent scales along here, so I assume if I turn there, we can see the rest. We've got nice big fat point there to release the ball head. That's pretty good. Now for the panoramic, we can just turn there. It feels like it's gonna be a very smooth action. This is definitely a tripod built for work. So we're gonna put it to some work and then have a chat about how we feel about it. But before we do that, I do have another ball head that I wanted to check out. And this one, as you can see, is the XB38 ball head. Now, I wanted to check it out because I think this might be even more suitable to me. And 
you know, let's see how they package these things. That's a nice little tool in there. That is pretty cool. Warranty, standard tools in there, lens cloth, again, bizarre, and a little adapter there. And the ball head itself comes in a baggie, which is kind of cool. So let's have a look at that. That is definitely pretty cool. It's a nice fat plate, nice and long. You do have a very big, again, very big knob there. Good dial. Panoramic as well. That is very nice. It's a lower profile one than the one that comes with the tripod, which is why I was attracted to it. But yeah, let's get out in the field and see how it fares. Since recording the last piece, I've had plenty of time to really live with this tripod. So let's get into it a bit, starting with the two ball heads that I received. They're both really well built, very easy to use, and quite practical in the real world, which is clearly the point of this kind of tech. The XB38 does have a lower profile and a better main knob, so could be more suitable for when I want to take this out of the studio, maybe for a single setup at an event. But both ball heads work a treat. The XB is also better for switching between horizontal and vertical modes, thanks to the grip and the second slot to go vertical. The friction knobs on both are a nice touch too. Both seem to be fairly stiff while panning, but it's still smooth, albeit not particularly flexible, selecting levels of panning speed. It's all or nothing, basically. Having said that, both are really nice and I'm going to enjoy using them more. As for the tripod itself, there's not much to complain about at all. It has the right amount of weight to give confidence while still being easy to move around with. The locks for moving the center column and the leg splay are well designed and the center column weight hook is good, although I'd have liked to see a tool included into the design instead of the you know decent tools that are included with, in this case, the tripod and the ball heads that I received. I'm more than happy with the flexibility of the tripod and the general ease of use. One nice touch that I like are these quarter 20 threads that allow you to mount anything you want, you know, like a monitor, transmitter, even a small camera if you want. Granted, it's labeled as a travel tripod, but we've already seen what I'm gonna be traveling with on the occasions that I actually wanna move around a lot with a tripod. So, you know, as I said, this is gonna be my studio tripod with occasional event work use. For many of you, it's gonna work out a treat for, you know, getting out and about. For me, something a bit more static um but you know you could get wet and dirty with this one without any worries about it lasting 299 for a very capable tripod with weather proof in all the bits that you'll need such as the tools that we saw the bag the excellent eb44 epic goes for 99 it's a serious bit of kit and i'm confident that this is a solid setup that's going to last me for many years i'd prefer to have the spikes hidden away under the rubber feet and somewhere on the tripod to store the tool but you know these are just little things that maybe the designers can get on the go with the next iterations now this thing does come with a six year warranty and if i'm still at it in six years which i expect i will be in 2028 we can check back and see how this is getting on of course we'll probably be trying out loads of tripods over the years but i'm hoping that this one's going to do me proud for a long time so yeah let us know if you've used anything from this company and how your experience has been now that xb38 ballhead goes for 159.99 so more than the eb44 and it's an excellent bit of kit too you don't need both and while this isn't completely designed for this tripod it obviously works a treat with it in fact as we said there's features that i prefer on this one but the eb44 epic steel quality yeah there you go it's not exciting but it gets the job done and should last for a long time now it's over to you in the comments below